Hi, my name's James Mulvaney and I help thousands of broadcasters and podcasters get their ideas off the ground. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you not one, not two, not three, but four different ways that you can take live callers on your radio show, podcast or even live stream. So if that sounds good, stay right there. So number one, this is the down and dirty method. This is the cheats way to getting callers live on your show, on your radio station, on your podcast, on your live stream. And it's just as simple as this. I have a microphone in front of me that I'm speaking into. This is what is recording me right now. So you can get an idea of what it will sound like to your listeners. Obviously, I'm recording it on my computer. I'm not connected or recorded to my camera mic, uh, my lapel mic right now. This is actually coming through this microphone here. And in the UK, we have something called the talking clock. When you dial one, two, three, you press call and you put it on speakerphone. As a substrate, the time from BT will be 9.53 and 50 seconds. As a substrate, the time from BT will be 9.54 precisely. It looks like my watch is actually running too fast. Show. Anyway, you get the idea. I still find it astonishing that that service actually exists, by the way. But yeah, you dial one, two, three, you get the talking clock. You could hear that quite clearly, um, perhaps not as clearly as me. And obviously the actual quality of a phone call isn't the best. I'm going to get onto that in one of the next tips. However, if you want a quick, easy and sort of down and dirty way to just get a call on air, put them on speakerphone, make sure your phone is held close to the microphone and just talk to them as you normally would. Your listeners will be able to hear the conversation because it's on speakerphone. Now, most mobile phones obviously have a speaker mode. Make sure you've got the speaker pointing at the microphone. For some reason, nowadays, you don't get that weird interference that you did perhaps 10 years ago. You know, the did, 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 did. If you know why, if you know why you don't get that interference, I'd love to know because I absolutely have no idea and I don't really understand how mobile phones work. Please comment below and tell me why you don't get that weird interference anymore. But because you don't get that interference, that is just one way just to quickly get calls on air. No budget required, no real effort. If it's a sort of last minute thing, why not try it out? Now, next up, we're going to be showing you how you can actually connect your phone directly into the computer. So this is one step forward, one step up of just doing what I was doing there. So down at the business end, this is really straightforward. All I'm going to be doing, first of all, is connecting my lightning adapter into my iPhone. I will then connect my 3.5 millimeter jack into there. And then finally, I have a little adapter here to connect my 3.5 millimeter jack into input number two of my audio interface. It's that straightforward. So the output is going from my phone into the audio interface, and this knob here will turn the caller up and down. So let's give it a try, let's ring Graham. So as I showed you, I've now got my iPhone routed directly into my audio interface, and I'm gonna be actually making a call right this second to my colleague Graham, and we'll see how he sounds. So first of all, let's press call. Hey Graham, how's it going? Yeah, fine. I just thought I'd test out what it sounds like when I've got my iPhone rooted into my computer and, uh, and make a call. So how does it sound on your end? Does it all sound pretty good? Yeah, so it sounds really, really clear. Like we could have a conversation for an hour and it would be really good and everyone would be able to understand what you're saying. So that's kind of the point of this video. All right. Well, enjoy your morning anyway. I'll speak to you soon. Cheers, Graham. Bye bye. So there we go. That sounded awesome, I think you'll agree, and very, very simple. All we've done is purchased a little cable, an iPhone adapter, and I've got it rooted in through an audio interface. You can plug it into any mixing desk, any audio interface, it doesn't really matter. The point of the matter is, the audio is going directly out of my phone and into the computer. And it can either be pre-recorded like I'm doing now, uh, or it could actually just be broadcast live, you know, to your radio station on your live stream, whatever it is you're doing. So next up, I wanna show you another way that you can take callers, which is not using any hardware. We're gonna be focusing on software solutions. So next up, I wanted to show you a totally killer way to host guests on your radio station. For this, we're going to be using the radio.co platform, which is awesome. If you haven't seen it, I recommend checking it out and there'll be a special offer for you at the end of the video uh, with more details. But right now we're on radio.co. As you can see, I can uh, head down to media and choose talk shows. Now, this will allow me to start a new talk show. I can hit that new talk show button and I'll simply give it a title. I'm just going to call it James's talk show and I will give the artist name myself. Uh, I can also upload album art. This will be applied to the file if I so wish. 
Once I've done that, I hit the create button and we're ready to go live. So I can go live now by pressing our start session button. Don't worry, this isn't recording, it's not being broadcast. What I first need to do is invite someone else to come and help me with my talk show. So I invite a guest on air. So I will copy this link uh, into my clipboard, this visitor URL. Then I will pass it to a guest. Now I'm going to be a bit weird here and just talk to myself for the purpose of this demonstration. The guest will obviously click on this link. You can email it to them. You could give it to them on uh, instant messenger and they will then visit this link on their browser. And this is what the guest will see. So they'll see, first of all, I need to enable my microphone permissions. I'll click allow. I will then give the guest a name. Let's be totally unimaginative and just call them guest number one. They will then agree to the privacy statement and they will click call. Meanwhile, back here on my control panel, I can see that the guest is actually calling in. Now, before we're ready to go live, I actually need to answer the guest. And the great thing about this system is before we're recording this session, um, I can have a conversation with the guest and uh, actually, you know, communicate with them. As you can see at the moment, they're muted. So what I would do is unmute them and I'd say, oh, hi, you know, John or Bob or Kathy or whoever you're speaking to. How's it going? You know, we're ready to go live. Just wanted to make sure you're all good. And then you mute them. Now you can see here, this symbol will show whether they're muted or unmuted. And this X here will actually kick them off. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, give this link to say another person. I might want to have two or three guests on my show. You can actually have up to four participants, including yourself. We'll go through the same person again. This time we'll call them Bob and we're going to call in. So now I've got two guests on the line. Again, I'll answer Bob. I'll maybe chat to him uh, briefly, you know, and just say, hey, Bob, we're ready to go live. Just checking your microphone sounds good and all that kind of thing, then mute it. Right, so we're ready to begin our talk show. We have our two guests here and even the guests can see who else is on and the guests can also hang up, etc. So I'm kind of just giving you a weird look of what it looks like from both ends here, just so you can see. Um, but if I'm ready to actually start recording this talk show, I hit this big red button and I might want to introduce it. So say, welcome to my talk show. This is James and today I'll have on the line guest number one. I also have Bob. Uh, firstly, guest number one. And then you, at this point, might unmute them and say, how's it going? What's your name? Tell us where you're from, blah, blah, blah. And once you've had your initial chat with guest number one, you might then say, and we've also got Bob on the line. He's an expert in training dogs or whatever he's an expert in hey Bob how's it going you know let's get into this discussion and then you can unmute them both and you know have your call with these guys once you're ready to finish or let's say someone says something they shouldn't and you would kick them off fine you just hit that X button and off they go and um, but when we're actually finished recording I press stop and I can actually download that file directly to my desktop if I want to edit it at all uh, by clicking this button here or I can choose to save it to the radio.co platform now this is great because you can either broadcast this immediately or you can queue it up or schedule it to go out at a later time of day or the following day or whenever it is you normally have your show it makes it really straightforward to actually pre-record things and make sure you're super organized about uh, getting people on the radio okay so that is how you take callers using the radio.co platform and if you've not come across radio.co before and you'd like to learn more just visit us at radio.co i've also got a special offer for you at the end of this video where i'll tell you a little bit more so next up i want to show you the roadcaster pro this is a fantastic bit of kit and it actually allows you to connect your phone via Bluetooth. So let's dive in. Next, I wanted to show you this device here. Now this is the Rodecaster Pro. I really love this because it's been designed specifically with internet broadcasters and podcasters in mind. It's a digital slash analog mixing desk. You can connect it directly to your computer. You can also record directly to an SD card if you're on the move and perhaps you don't want to bring your computer with you. For mic input, so of course, I've got my microphone connected to the Rodecaster. Um, it's also got all these hot keys here which do all sorts of fancy things you can hook them up to play stuff on your software you can get them to play like sound effects it's a really really good device and I wish when I started broadcasting 10 15 years ago there was something like this around it didn't exist so it was really complicated but this makes things really straightforward now we're gonna be focusing in specifically today on how you connect your phone and there's two ways in which you can do that first of all using the traditional cable method like I showed you earlier instead obviously in go instead of going into my audio interface you go into the back of this uh, and it will connect to that fader there. Now, Rode supply a, a cable which has got three rings around it, which basically means, and uh, unlike a normal 3.5 mil jack with two rings, which is just stereo left and right, you also have a mono microphone channel coming through this. Basically, all that means is, um, rather than earlier, like I was speaking to the caller through my microphone built into here, it will actually send the source of this mic, which is going 
to Fader 1 and any other channels or any other noise that's going through it into your phone. Now, why is this good? Well, if you're interviewing someone and maybe you have other guests in the room with you, they can all be heard clearly by the caller. So again, it's just a case of using our little iPhone adapter uh, or you know, you might be able to get one for Android and hooking it up to the phone. It's that straightforward. I then have my phone live on that channel there. The other way to connect a phone, which I think is really cool, is actually using Bluetooth. So in a similar way that you connect your phone in a car perhaps to uh, your speaker so you can talk to people whilst you're driving or if you have like a little Bluetooth dock or a Bluetooth speaker that you can connect to the phone to play music works in exactly the same way um, so basically this button here obviously is bright blue uh, you connect that you um, pair it with your phone just in a very straightforward manner uh, you know this screen here is all touchscreen and then once you're ready to go you can turn that up and basically you've got a live connection between your phone and the mixing desk and not only does this mean you can take callers but you can also play any clips or music or anything you have on your phone can be heard through this channel so this is the Rodecaster Pro let's uh, connect my phone up and we'll give Jamie a ring and see how it fares all right so we've now got our Rodecaster paired with our iPhone um, as you can see we have a blue light on this blue channel, which is the Bluetooth. The quickest way of testing if your phone is paired is just play some music. Nice bit of acoustic Craig David for you there. And uh, make sure that, you know, your audio is coming through the desk. That was working nicely. So now we're ready to actually give one of our colleagues a call. So I'm going to use WhatsApp to make this call. Uh, let's give Jamie a ring and see how he's getting on. Hello. Hey, Jamie, how's it going? Yeah, not bad. How about you? I'm good, thanks. Yeah, I'm just uh, calling you via the Rodecaster Pro. Cool. So uh, you're live, technically, uh, being recorded for this video anyway. Please don't, please don't swear. Yeah. So, uh, well, thanks, Jamie. <laughs> I just thought I'd ring and, and just uh, make sure everything's working, but it's working perfectly. So uh, how's your day been? Has it been okay? Yeah, yeah, it's been been pretty good. Just been doing some marketing stuff for Radio.co. Excellent. Well, I'll leave you to it. Thanks very much. Speak to you later. All right, take care. Bye. Bye-bye. There we go. So it's that easy. Um, and, you know, completely hands-free, Bluetooth connectivity. If you're thinking about investing in a digital desk for your podcast or your radio station, the Rodecaster Pro is absolutely cool. Uh, I mean, it's an awesome bit of kit. And as I say, that's just one of the features. I've shown you how to plug your phone in as well manually. This has got microphone processing built in and all sorts of awesome tools uh, to help you with your creativity. So thanks very much for watching this video. Hopefully one of these methods will serve you well in your quest to connect callers to your radio station, your podcast, or your live stream. If you've got any other suggestions of how you can get people on the radio or connected up to your computer via the phone or via any other software, please leave them in the comments below. I'm going to be making more videos like this one so if you've enjoyed remember to hit that subscribe button and also thumbs up. It really helps me with my rankings and also it helps me and encourages me to create more awesome content like this for you guys. Thanks very much for watching. Starting a radio station has never been easier. Click here and I'll take you to a free guide which shows you exactly how you can start a radio station with minimal fuss, no technical headaches, plus also start getting those all important listeners. How does that sound? Click here and I will take you to my free guide.